y'all. This is the World History Project. I'm Wood Boyles, and today we're asking what has changed in the past century, and has that change been a good thing? We made it to the 1900s, which was marked by some pretty significant events. The outbreak of World War I in 1914 brought the long 19th century to an end. The end of World War I left a lot of issues unresolved. Many of these problems led to the Second World War, and then the Cold War, and then, well, more war. Since the collapse of the Soviet Union in the early 1990s, globalization has been the big story and has shaped our lives for the better, and sometimes for the worse. We'll be taking a look at these big events of the last century over the next two weeks. But for today, let's think about how different the world was back in 1914. We would be missing our cell phones, of course, and also maybe the internet. There wouldn't be any plastic, at least nothing that you or I would recognize as plastic, and you'd be more likely to be riding a horse to work or school. But the car had been invented, and so had trains. Some people had phones, but you still wouldn't travel outside your local town or community very often. There were some countries that had democratic forms of government, but most countries were still ruled by kings or emperors. And a lot of people lived in colonies with little or no rights. There were less large stores. Most people either made what they needed or bought items from specialty artisans like blacksmiths or leather workers. A lot of people were also farmers. They grew their own food at home. My great grandmother's family were all sharecroppers and picked cotton on other people's farms. A lot of these jobs are still around and of course they had lawyers, doctors, and bankers like we do today. They also had barbers, which reminds me that I'm really missing mine right now. You might be thinking that maybe life in 1914 wasn't that different than now, but almost everyone has experienced some degree of change over the past hundred years. And that leads to our word of the day, progress. Progress means moving forward towards a goal. In this case, it means making life better in some way or another. It might be a better standard of living or better working conditions. In the past, historians just assumed that things are getting better for all of us. I mean, progress is being made all the time, right? Well, people are starting to question whether things are actually getting better. As we progress through Era 7, I'm going to challenge you to decide for yourself on whether or not you think we are making progress. Are our lives getting better? Today, I want you to watch the Era 7 overview in Lesson 7.0 on Khan Academy. As you watch, Think about whether or not we've made progress in the last hundred years, and if that progress has been for the better or the worse. After you've watched this video, write about this in your historian's journal. How has the human experience been different for people globally during COVID-19? Our world is more interconnected than ever. How has a global pandemic like COVID revealed to us how similar and how different our lives are? I'm thinking about how we all access resources differently. Does living in a specific country or even a specific state matter? Do people in large cities have different experiences than people living in small towns? Go find some articles or blog posts that compare and contrast people's experience with COVID. You might be surprised with what you find. I'll see you next time.